what's going on guys today is march 13th going out to the office today we have to drop off all of the boxes uh on that big pallet as well as a bunch of ebay things that uh, we have to drop everything off by today tonight there's going to be a snowstorm so tomorrow i'm not sure what's going to happen to the post office so let's go ship all those out so this right here is all the ebay stuff it's a lot of stuff including this that right there is my other company stuff and this right here is all the amazon stuff there's a lot of things that we have to fit into the car it's probably going to have to be in, done in two trips and the post office people are probably going to kill us <laughs> or want to all right it's all clean all done everything's been dropped off so now we gotta work on uh, the t-shirts to post on Amazon, as well as uh, eBay stuff this week. All right, so we just finished shipping everything. All the boxes and all the stuff are gone now. So now what we have to do today is work on those t-shirts over there, right there, that we have to ship to Amazon. But um, that's like kind of like private labeling. So we have to buy UPCs for them and then upload it. So we're gonna work on that as well as eBay, liquidate. Uh, not really liquidate, but uh, cut every, cut the prices down. Upload everything that I haven't uploaded for this week. Uh, tomorrow's gonna snow too, so I could just uh, chill at home and just be uploading all day on eBay. So do all that, get my money back, and then uh, flush it into the credit cards and cap all those. Uh, I could cap it right now, but uh, once the Amazon payment comes in, but uh, you know better to just have cash on hand so uh gonna do that oh yeah i still have to call amazon again because i got rejected for like the i don't know i don't know how many times it is now it's like 10th time but uh, i gotta speak to them again for my private label stuff which should be coming in either by probably by next week ish or by the end of this week depending um or it should be done by the end of this week and may, uh depending on how long shipping takes it should be in soon but uh i'm still restricted from the personal care, uh, health and personal care category in Amazon, so uh, somehow I gotta get that uh, opened up, which uh, I don't know, they're not accepting my invoices, but that's like the invoices that the manufacturer gave to me. So a little bit of a problem, we'll see what we can do to fix it, but um, I don't know, it's getting kind of ridiculous now. And as far as Toys R Us and stuff goes, uh, with that Thursday deal, like I don't have to go on Thursdays anymore because uh, I think it was a mistake they were making on their end, so uh, we're still getting like 30% if I use the gift cards on top of the resellers, on top of the points and stuff. So, or 20, 25 to 30% off anyways. We were getting like 35 or 40% before, but even without that, like we're still making like 60% on whatever we spend. So um, I could just go any day for that. So I could just mix it in with like Target, Walmart, and um, even try big lots again because I, I i'm seeing other people that are sourcing big lots really well but i just couldn't find anything maybe it was just that one store but then again um the first time i went to kmart and stuff i couldn't find a single thing so just got to try it again and just get better better and better at it look at that toys r us rewards points just because we've been spending so much money on uh toys r us that equates to around 800 dollars worth of uh just rewards points so the next time we go shopping there that's eight hundred free dollars that we could spend. Well, yeah, it's free. So I just spent a lot of time uh, contacting Amazon to get my um, health and personal care approved, but it's going to be a lot more complicated than I thought because uh, the rules changed like recently, and it's not as simple to get in because it's it's one of the most lucrative and competitive spaces, and Amazon's uh, restriction. It was just um, set in stone and nobody really knows how to get uh, ungated from it. Because you used to be able to get ungated just with like uh, store-bought receipts, but now even official invoices, um, like nobody knows the exact requirements that they're looking for. And it depends on which rep is uh, looking at your uh, approving it and denying it. So um, when they do come, I'm probably going to just post it up on eBay for now until I could get uh, at least one of my accounts open for the health and personal care category. So I think my best bet is to um, register my my other company, which is a cosmetic company, um, 
into Amazon and use that as a source to get ungated into that category because I do have real products and uh, I could get the so I, I we applied for the FDA uh, registration right now so I think that way is more legitimate and uh, it's no guarantee but it's a lot uh, better and another way is uh, because my uh, invoices are coming from China um, they I don't know they said it, it would be better um, as far as uh, it'd be better if it was a United States company because uh, people have better luck with it and uh, rep told me um, try uh, getting different invoices from a United States company and uh, ordering s uh, smaller quantities of certain items and then uh, using those invoices to reapply and then get approved because once you're approved then the whole category of loss and then I could uh, upload my um, my private label <laughs> item oh and we're also working on Amazon merch right now because uh, so somebody just commented on YouTube saying that uh, that their friend's account got closed because it was inactive and we haven't posted anything on it yet so we're just gonna create simple text designs like you know I don't know any any simple word that goes on the shirt and then just put it up so that we can ma uh, maintain uh, I mean keep active on that account as well and uh, I think I think I said I uh, merch opened up in like two to three months but looking at the account when we registered it said September so it's actually been like five five months maybe six months so that actually took a lot longer than I initially thought so if anybody's waiting just wait a little longer because my account's still not approved and I think I applied like a couple weeks after him or it could it could have been a month or two but I don't know time flies by because I'm doing so many things so yeah if anyone's still waiting on that I mean eventually I'm sure it'll get approved okay so it's about 9 30 uh, and to think I'm gonna head home now and just work on my computer from home uh, it's gonna be a snowstorm soon too so I'm not sure if I'm gonna come out tomorrow depending on how bad it is but there's really no need because I still have a lot of files that I could post and um, all the t-shirt files too we have them we just need to weigh it and I need, I need my uh, landlord to be here for that so that's probably gonna happen on Wednesday but for now I'm gonna try to get as much eBay sales as possible so that on Wednesday I could pack it and ship a bunch because there's really nothing else to do I mean private label stuff uh, I mean you know it's good and bad because there's more restrictions that means there's less competition but right now I'm on the other side of the fence so I gotta get in so um, but I'm pretty sure over time it should work and um, if one way doesn't work just try a different way and you know, I'm not too stressed out although it's very annoying and frustrating but what can I do so I think that's it for now so peace